Training and fine tuning a large language model is one thing, but using a high quality data set behind it is completely another thing. If you are not using a good quality data set to fine tune or train your model, then there is no chance on earth that your model will be of any possible quality. A data set is the backbone of a large language model as it determines the model's performance, bias, and capabilities. A high quality data set provides a vast amount of diverse and relevant text data, enabling the model to learn patterns, relationships, and context. This in turn allows the model to generate accurate and informative responses, understand nuances of language, and adapt to various tasks and domains. In this video, I am going to share my top 5 favorite datasets which I often use here and there. But my list is quite large but it was really hard for me to come up with this top 5 but uh, let me say that this field is changing very rapidly so if you would ask me maybe tomorrow this list would be totally changed. So this list only holds for today that is the shelf life of AI these days. So a well curated data set also helps to mitigate potential issues such as bias, toxicity and hallucinations. By including a diverse range of text and sources, the model can learn to recognize and avoid harmful or offensive content. Also a data set that is regularly updated and expanded enables the model to stay current with new information, concepts and language usage ensuring it remains relevant and effective over time. So a data set is extremely essential for building a robust and reliable large language model. It lays the foundation for the model's performance, versatility and ethical behavior, making it a critical component of AI development. So now you know the importance of the data set. Now let me walk you through the, my top 5 favorite data sets out there as of today. The first and foremost one this dolphin 2.9 data set which was just released i guess two days ago this is from eric hartford who is the man behind dolphin models eric hartford published this filtered and uncensored data set for dolphin 2.9 on hugging face so if you want to make your own spin on dolphin or if you just want to see how dolphin models were created you can just use this data set for free how good is that the size of this data set is just 1.39 meg and it's a very high quality large general purpose data set used by the dolphin models this model was trained with full fine tuning on all parameters using chat ml prompt template format and i believe that this data set should be useful for fine tuning of almost any general purpose llm out there this is the data set behind dolphin 2.9 model as i said which i also have uh, covered on my channel and that Dolphin 2.9 model is based on Llama 3.8 billion. The base model has 8K context and the full weight fine tuning was with 4K sequence length. For Eric Hartford to tune Dolphin 2.9 model on this data set took around 2.5 days on 8 L40S GPUs. So if you are looking to fine tune your own model on this data set, you can do some maths as how long would it take you as per your own hardware and you can do some capacity and cost planning right there. My second data set is OpenHerms 2.5. You will see this data set being used as a source data for many other data sets. The size is just 1 meg. This is the data set that made OpenHerms 2.5 and now Herms 2 series of model and that was a blast. The OpenHerms 2 and 2.5 and now Herms 2 models have made significant advancements of state-of-the-art LLMs over recent months and are underpinned by this exact compilation and curation of many open source data sets and custom created synthetic data sets. So this is another thing that it's not that a data set is normally created from scratch. It could be um, a combination, a blend of many other smallish data sets. So every data set has its own character. It's a very, very diverse field, by the way. So the OpenHerms 2.5 data set is a continuation of OpenHerms 1 data set at a much, much larger scale. 
it is much more diverse and much higher quality compilation reaching one meg and primarily synthetically generated instruction and chat samples it's a large data set with wide range of sources like uh, aeroboros camel ai domain expert data set which include physics maths chemistry and bio chat pot arena collective cognition evolve instruct 70k and 140k slim orca and many many more and you can check it the model card on hugging face just type open hands so you should be able to get it my next third favorite data set is slim orca from open orca this is a new curated subset of open orca data the size is 118k this release provides an efficient means for reaching performance on par with using larger slices of data while only including 500k gpt4 compilation the key change in this data set is that they have done an additional pass using gpt4 to remove answers which appear wrong based on the human annotations from the flan data set this reduces the data set size to only 500k entries allowing training to a similar quality level to their previous releases with 2 by 3 compute environment open orca mistral 7b8k slim data was fine tuned using open orca data set this new data set release provides an efficient means for reaching performance on par with using larger slices of their data while only including 500k gpt4 completion this model was trained with 8 a6000 gpus for 40 hours completing four epochs for full fine tuning on their data set in one training run and guess how much the cost was just 240 us dollar that's it how good is that okay the next data set which i really like is open platypus the size is just 25k this data set is focused on improving llm's logical reasoning skills and was used to train the platypus mo two models it is comprised of various data set data sets which were filtered using keyword search and then and tense transformers to move, remove questions with a similarity above 80 percent to make it more diverse and unique of course the creators removed approximately 200 questions that appear in the hugging face benchmark test sets this data set contains a lot of things like prm 800k uh, which is a process supervi supervision data set then it has science qa sci-bench theorem qa air Bureau's, open assistant konako open book, book q and many others this is the data set behind platypus model which are a family of fine-tuned and merged llm that achieves the strongest performance i really like it due to its small size and great quality by the way my fifth and final um, quality data set which i really like is uh, magic coder oss instruct 75k this is the oss instruct data set generated by gpt 3.5 turbo 1106 and developed by openai it's a very very high quality data set for coding this is a pure coding data set and is the power behind magic coder model size is just 75k and magic coders models are designed and best suited for coding tasks by the way very very focused models so this is my list of five top k data sets but the list keeps growing and keeps changing so remember the data set behind a llm is a key to unlocking its full potential by prioritizing dataset quality, diversity, and curation, developers can create models that are not only powerful and ac accurate, but also responsible and, and ethical. So as AI is continuing to advance and play an increasingly prominent role in our lives, it is really crucial that we recognize the importance of datasets and really strive to create models that benefit society as a whole. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. Which ones are your favorite data sets and for what purpose you use them it would be really good to know if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching